What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas. And we're gonna take a close look at this really cool Jayco J Flight uh, SLX travel trailer. Now this is a relatively compact travel trailer and it's got a really interesting floor plan that I think you're gonna like. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 5,500 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,107 pounds. This is gonna ride on, looking for my axle rating right here, twin 3,500 pound axles. So honestly, the axle capacity actually well and above exceeds the actual gross vehicle weight rating of this unit. You know, so for those of you who really follow axle ratings, typically they're under the gross vehicle weight rating. So for these to be over is pretty phenomenal. Anyways, we're gonna hop inside of this RV, take a look at the interior, and come back out and take a look at the exterior. Coming around this way, power front tongue jack, twin 20 pound propane cans. This has a stick and tin design. Essentially, this is aluminum siding over a wooden sidewall frame on top of a steel main I-beam frame. All right, so let's hop inside of this Jayco J-Flight SLX 212QB. Give your aluminum Moride steps on this. Nice friction hinge door holding the door open. Okay, so as we get inside, we'll quickly pan around and you'll probably see what I like about this unit right off the bat. First of all, no slide. No slides on this unit. So for those of you who are looking for a really cool floor plan with no slides, this might have nailed it for you. Relatively small, relatively lightweight, 5,500 pounds. This is half ton towable if you get the right half ton truck for it. So this is something you could put behind a half ton truck, max tow package, and all the capabilities that you're looking for for towing something like this. Queen size bed up front, lots of room around the bed, tons of room. Plus you have some wardrobe storage up here. Nice little headboard wall design over here. You can have some extra storage under the bed as well on nice strut arms. Folks at Jayco have gotten really thoughtful with their floor plans and their designs and some of the amenities they've been doing. You have a curtain right here to be able to give you some isolation between the bedroom space and the living room kitchen space. And what's nice about it is they actually give you some room here. On a lot of RVs, you don't get this type of room. So you have a lot of room for the bedroom area, plus the ability to isolate yourself from the rest whenever you're trying to get to bed. You have your cable connections, power connections, so you can throw a TV on the wall. Here's your bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It is a decent sized bathroom. Considering the size of this RV, you know, it's a it's a pretty good bathroom space. You got plenty of countertop space up here. You got a good sized sink basin. You got a mirror on the wall, a little towel holder. It's a plastic toilet, but you got a good amount of room in here. Just very nice. It's a good size, especially again, considering there's no slide out in this unit. Right here, you have a solid surface countertop some drawers underneath which are typically missing on RVs this size dual basin sink which is really nice and it's a good size sink plus you have a three burner cooktop as well with a small oven from Furion you have a high point microwave up top nice vent hood right here some more cabinets up top and then moving over here you have a good size Norcol 12 volt refrigerator Some pantry space right here. All your breakers and fuses. A little furnace vent down here. Air conditioning control. It says one air conditioning unit up top here. Should be more than enough for a unit this size, especially again with no slide outs. But check out this space. So the dinette's been converted into a bed currently to give you an idea of what it would be like if you want to use this as kind of a bunk space. This is a jackknife sofa, so you can convert this into a bed. But when this is up, and you're using it as a dinette, you have a huge window right here. You have a huge window back here, and you have another large window right here. A lot of lighting coming into this unit. You can really enjoy a place that you take this because of this lighting. I'm very critical on RVs that have very few windows or small windows. This, in my opinion, is really nice. Now, they probably could have put a slightly larger window back here if they wanted to, but this is still a good size window. It's probably 36 by 36 inches. And again, a lot of light coming into this unit. Plus, you got your cabinets up here. 
really like this floor plan. This is super cool. This is a very, very usable floor plan. Um, and in my opinion, this is like a better floor plan than even some high-end units like the Black Series that I reviewed. So I really like this. Plus you have a place to mount your TV on the wall over there, a little entertainment center and more storage. Very, very cool. Anyways, let's see what the outside of this unit is all about. So before we go any further, this has an MSRP of $30,000 and a sale price of just under $27,000. So, you know, in terms of pricing, this is a pretty affordable unit, especially for the floor plan that you get, the simplicity of it. A lot of people would like this floor plan just because there's less things to break. When you tow an RV, again, it's like towing a home through an earthquake and a hurricane. And with something like this, you just have less items to actually go wrong, which is really nice. Okay, starting up front, you're gonna have your power front tongue jack, which is really nice. You have a spot for two 30 pound propane cans. Your batteries would be placed right here. Looks like you could probably fit two batteries there. You're gonna have your front pass-through storage right here. And it's a good size pass-through storage. Plenty of room inside of here. You have an awning running across the top. Looks to be probably about a 16 foot awning. So very good size awning. Your windows are already tinted. Shoot, I remember the first RV that I, I showcased on my channel was the Vibe that we had. Did not have tinted windows. Boy, what a difference tint makes on RV glass. You have their two plus three year warranty. Again, the more I'd step above steps, the friction hinge door. You have this J Smart lighting system, which are essentially these little beacon lights that are all the way around. And whatever side of turn signal you're turning, whether you're turning to the right or the left, all the lights on that side will flash with the corresponding turn signal. You have spread axles on it. So your axles are spread apart a little bit more than you might typically see. It's supposed to help mitigate porpoising or that weird effect like this when you go over bumps. You have Goodyear Endurance tires, 205, 75, 14. So you have a good quality tire on here. Outside 110 outlet, satellite or cable connection right here. And this is a mount for your TV. It kind of drops in, into place and snaps there. Coming around to the back, you have scissor style jacks on all four corners so you can stabilize the unit. All LED lighting, and it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. You have your four inch tubular bumper for your sewer hose. Ladder to walk onto the roof. Spare tire hanging off the back, and it is also a Goodyear tire as well. The reason I mention that is some manufacturers will put a good tire all the way around, but then the spare tire is some off brand that you've never heard of. So it's nice that they equip you with the same tire on the back that they put on the side. Water heater right here outside of your furnace. You have your cable connections for your RV campground, as well as your water connection here, 30 amp connection here, outside shower city water connections, as well as your black tank flush, which basically is like a little jet sprayer inside of there when you hook a hose to it, and it helps clean out your black tank. Here's the other side of your pass-through storage and your 30 amp cable right there. Very nice. Probably comes with a barbecue pit because that little cover right there looks like it's for a barbecue. And it is pre-wired for Furion side view cameras, which is really nice as well. So if you want that extra visibility, you can always go like the e-trailer and purchase the Furion cameras that would connect right here. So you can see down the side of your RV as well as the back and over your door if you want to get the full package, which is really nice. But yeah, something like this, you could tow behind a half ton truck with the right tow capacity. If you have a three quarter ton truck, even better. Gas versus diesel doesn't really matter with something this size. Um, but again, really what you're looking for is a cargo capacity of about 1,200 to 1,500 pounds minimum. And that's just to basically allow for the, the tongue weight that you're gonna have on the back, plus all your supplies, whatever's in here, as well as the people in the vehicle. So you get the 1,200, 1,500, maybe 1,700 pounds would be ideal in terms of payload capacity, then monitor how much stuff you put in your truck and your RV. You'd be well suited for a half ton truck with the max tow package. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.